In today's video, we're going to be putting an all-time greatest ever Barcelona team in FIFA 22 career mode. Yup, this is happening. This is a mod I've got that's basically got a lot of clubs with their all-time greatest ever players. Barcelona being one of them. And we've got a Barcelona side in this mod with the likes of Ronaldinho, Messi, Iniesta, Xavi. And the crazy thing about this mod is players like Kubala, historic legends that played in the 40s and the 50s, are also there in this mod it's crazy that this guy who's made this mod has created all these players from scratch with player faces relatively accurate stats as well it's it's actually insane so we've got kubala a very iconic barcelona player in here apart from that place like van bronkost we've got also other legends like rafa marquez in the team belletti the man who scored the winner for barcelona in the champions league final in 2006 uh, garcia is here and just many more luis enrique now the spain coach he's in this mod too and it's insane Insane. We've got Thiago Alcantara, an iconic striker in Barca's history. Cesar as well. I remember Messi overtaking his record. Uh, that was a big deal. So <laughs> this mod is just nuts. And we're going to be putting this mega squad into career mode and probably just crushing everyone. Actually, maybe not because this mod also has the all-time classic squads for teams like Real Madrid. We'll maybe have to do more videos on this mod because this is nuts. But just look at how insane that Real Madrid team is. And then even this mod has the classic squads and kits by the way you would have noticed for like arsenal chelsea even pretty sure they've got liverpool as well with keegan ian rush fernando torres and everyone manchester city's there although they're legends uh, uh, we're not we're not going back to the 50s for man city let's just put it that way <laughs> uh of course manchester united is there oh we've got even newcastle's iconic kids and players this should be fun boys and if you're wondering how on earth have i managed to get this mod well it's made by shadow boy it's called the big classic patch that just makes fifa insane it's probably the best mod i've seen i'm pretty sure i used it and made a few videos on it back during fifa 21 i'm not entirely sure but this mod is the best thing i've seen for fifa it's genuinely so crazy the amount of effort that's been put in his nuts and if you guys want to check it out i'll link shadow boys patreon and maybe even his twitter in the description all right boys now time to have a bit of fun we're gonna be taking charge of barcelona quick question should we make this a weekly series of trying to win trophies with the classic sides i know it might seem a bit easy but you guys need to realize all the other big teams also have their classic teams on there and maybe we can find a way to do some signings and all Ooh, how crazy would that be you know us trying to sign our nine Ronaldo from Real Madrid. Oh my lord. So yeah, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see this become a weekly thing. So I guess for today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to take charge of this Barca squad with all the legends. We'll sim the first season without making any signings and seeing what we can achieve. And if we don't end up winning the Champions League, let's do a couple more seasons, signing other players as well and trying to win the Champions League. The objective, let's make it to win the Champions League with this all-time classic team. And once we get to the final we'll play that game the question now is how on earth do i sort out this team good lord is it ridiculously op like how what do i even do here one thing i know messi and ronaldinho gotta be in the side xavi and iniesta as well we gotta switch them apart can we actually like convert positions because xavi is a cam want to make him a center mid would that actually be possible here is xavi how long would it take to make him a center mid oh only a couple of weeks this is perfect not gonna lie i think i think a 4-3-3 attack just would work so well with this team because we'll get that cam too like i'm thinking i want to put kubala over here he's one of Barca's iconic players look at the options we've got for striker stoichkov kloivert kojis i've never heard of Koj kojis heard of edo obviously kloivert as well i'm thinking i'm gonna go with stoichkov that's probably my midfield and attack done and it's unbelievable oh at the back van broncos to eric abidal i think it's gotta be abidal has to be puyol Kobe and Dani Alves is just perfect. Between Valdez and Testegen, I'm sorry. I know Testegen's high rated, but that's just fraudulence. It's got to be Victor Valdez. Has to be him. All right, so I think the team is complete because this is the bench I'm going to rock with. Eto, Rivaldo, Laudrop, Deco, Rafa Marquez, Abidal and Testegen. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, what a team this is. I might actually end up selling a lot of the players here in the reserves because 
We might not even end up using them. They're, 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 there's just so much squad depth here with this side. It's nuts. Let's see if we want to sign R9 Ronaldo. Would that even be possible? He is... Oh, wow. Romario is in there too. Why is he not at Barca? He's at PSV. Good Lord. 176.5 million. Wow. PSV has got him. R9 Ronaldo. Where would he be? Where would he be? 94 rated. 222 million is his value. By the way, all the these legends have been made 20 years old. That's, I think, smart. Huh, wow. All right, guys, let's just sim until the end of the season. We're not making transfers for now. And let's see what's up. Oh, by the way, I might end up selling a few players that are, like, in the reserves and I don't really care about because we can generate some cash because I want to sign R9 Ronaldo in season two, boys. We can now convert Xavi to a centre mid. Bang, he's up to a 94 overall. <laughs> That's just a madness. Offers for PK. By the way, every player is 20 years old, so the valuation in this mod is nuts. We're just gonna accept it. We're just gonna accept this offer for Sergi as well. It's insane what we're doing here. Bayern Munich have come in with a swap deal offering Bastian Schweinsteiger and 36 million. Oh, wow, but we don't want Schweinsteiger. I'm happy with Xavi. The question is, we're at the end of the season and what's happened in La Liga? Remember, we're up against an all-time great Madrid side, an all-time great Atleti side. Who ends up winning La Liga? It's Bas- no. <laughs> what? Valencia? What? I thought we were above Real Madrid and we won the league because of that. Valencia? Nah, man. What even is their squad? How did they do that? Yo, how on earth has this happened? So Messi finishes top scorer in La Liga. David Villa. Kempes. Unreal. David Villa fired Valencia to a La Liga title. Unbelievable. So one of Spanish football's most iconic strikers, David Villa, was the man to get them that La Liga trophy. Unbelievable. Pretty sure Valencia have got a lot more quality players. We can probably run a search this way. I knew it. Jordi Alba's there and they've got a lot more very, very good players. I know Ayala is a quality centre-back. Uh, I don't know who he is, but yeah, I can understand. Why is Cherishev in there among all those legends? But yeah, I can now understand how they did it, but it's still ridiculous. <laughs> they've got they've got Mustafi in there, boys, an 83-rated Mustafi. Wow, we didn't even win the Spanish Super Cup. Bilbao managed to win that. Fair enough. And what about the Spanish Cup? We didn't win that. It's Athletic Bilbao. Unreal. Maybe Aduriz fired them to the trophy. But Champions League is what we want to try and win. And Bayern got knocked out in the group stages. Oh my god. We, we topped our group, but it was super tight. Round of 16. We managed to knock out a very, very good Juventus team. That's brilliant. 3-1 on aggregate. Quarterfinals. We just about scraped through against Liverpool. Semi-finals. We knocked out Chelsea. And in the final, it's Milan. Oh boy. Look at the top scorers in the Champions League. It's it's Hullet up there with eight goals. Eden Hazard back at Chelsea there with six. Raheem Sterling's there. Um, John Barnes, that is? I'm not entirely sure, but Ronaldinho is our top scorer with four goals in 12 games. Trogba's there. That Milan side is going to be tough. Messi's one of the top assisters. Let's look at our stats. What are we looking like here, stats-wise? Leo Messi, top scorer. Look at that kid. It looks so clean. 32 goals for Messi. 12 for Stoichkov. Another 12 for Ronaldinho. Ronald Koeman coming in with 10. Unreal. I kind of want to play this game against Milan. Let's do it. Oh, let's go with the iconic orange kit. Because why not? Yeah, we're going with the iconic orange kit, boys. We're going with that. we got to replace Xavi from the team because he's injured. What do we do here? What do we do here? kind of want to play Lucho. I think he can play center mid, right? Can he play center mid? Can. I think he can do a decent enough job. I think he can do a decent enough job. Yup, that's what I'm going to do. Lucho, Iniesta, Kubala, Stoichkov, Messi, Ronaldinho. That's that's the defense. Let's do this. Oh, look at that Milan team. They've got Pirlo, Kaká, Wea, Van Basten, Baresi, Maldini at left back, Dida in goal. That's a madness. We're going with the orange kits as well. Let's do this. Also, boys, if you like what you see on the channel, consider subscribing. Really helps with the algorithm and everything. Drop a like too. Why not? It's free. Let's get back to the video. One thing, guys, because I'm playing on my PC, my middle monitor is just 60 FPS and kind of like has screen tearing and everything. So I'm going to be looking this way while I play the game on my PC. Okay, that, that should be fine. Shouldn't make that much of a difference. Let's go. Here's Kubala on the ball. He's not on FIFA, by the way. Just in this mod, he's in the game. This is how Ronaldinho looks in game. Pretty easy to get him in the game because he's an icon too. But players like Kubala 
have been made very, very well and accurate, boys. So, love that about the mod. Here also we've got... Wait, Luis Enrique does not look like that, okay? That's not Lucho. Maybe a young Luis Enrique. But for me, that's not Lucho. That is not Lucho. Who is this now? Van Bronkost. Guess he looks okay. Puyol, of course. Coman looks like Coman. And Dani Alves, of course, looks like Alves. Okay, Luis Enrique just got taken out there. Like, <laughs> come on. Frank Rijkaard, just, just calm down. Here we go with Kubala. I see a run being made by Lucho. This is what he was known for. Goes for goal. What a save from Dida. Corner. Messi to take it. Messi to take it. Puyol is good in the air. Wins that. That's a very good ball. The headers won again. Cleared away for another one. Oh, the pace. The pace. Ronaldinho's pace. Oh, Ronaldinho is just done in there. Ronaldinho. Still Dinho. Oh my god, that deserved a goal. No. <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh, Ronaldinho again. Oh, he is so rapid. Ronaldinho, trying a few tricks. Still Ronaldinho. Oh, come on. That, that was... I'm trying a bit too much with Dino. It's just so, so much fun. Okay, Danny Alves is pretty further forward right here. That's a foul. Referee, give me that free kick. Oh, we're doing this. We're taking a free kick with Ronald Koeman. Back in the day, Champions League final. It was him who scored that big goal. Can he do it again for us? It's decent. Good save, Dida. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's Maldini on the attack. I love seeing these legends. By the way, can you notice the banners and everything are also pretty cool with this mod? Pretty nuts, man. Oh, here we go. Don Andres Iniesta. Oh, he's done him, but he just gave the ball away cheaply. And now Van Basten's got a chance to play that pass out wide for Kaká. Dani Alves saves us. It's a free kick for Milan. Ball played in. We couldn't get it away, but Dani Alves... No, it's Van Brankost. Go on. All those legends, but it's Messi driving it forward, looking for Stoichkov, but Rijkaard was too quick. Oh, no, we've let Rijkaard through. Good thing is, he's a CDM. Coman has managed to track back. Brilliant. Ah, oh, no, we're going to concede here. We're going to concede here. Van Brankos saves us. Stoichkov, Ronaldinho, this is our chance. This is our chance. Ronaldinho, no, that touch was so bad. George Weah. Goes for goal. Big save from Victor Valdez. I think that's the first time we've had to make a save. We've really dominated this game. It's just that the goal is missing. I think it's time to make some changes. I want Samuletto on the pitch. We're going to do that. We'll also bring on Deco. A couple of big changes. Let's see how that works. Finds Leo Messi. It's always Leo Messi. It's always Leo Messi. Finesse shot from Messi. Big save. Rebound. Stoichkov. Offside. Iniesta. Samuletto has just been brought on. Here's Laszlo Kubala going for goal. Way above the crossbar. Kaka, I'm not liking this. Van Basten looking for that pass. Wea goes for goal. That's a big save from Victor Valdez. Lovely passing. Eto. Ronaldinho now. Go on. Go on. Inside. Ronaldinho has the strength as well. Opening up. Strikes it. Oh, come on. Oh, Ronaldinho's leave was clutch over there. Looks to bring it inside. Does so very well. Looking for that pass for Kubala. Now Messi. Onside. Passes it in the back of the net. It's always Leo Messi in the iconic orange kit this time. It's always Messi. Kubala Messi celebrating. This video is a treat for all Barca fans, man. Honestly. Ronaldinho involved. Kubala. And then, and then look at the finish from Messi. Saw Dida go the other way. Had to do it. Easy goal. And that's 1-0 up against this Milan side. Took us 78 minutes to break them down. But we did it. Firing this one for Samuletto. Here he goes. Samuletto 1v1. He's created these situations. And he scored as well. It's job done. AC Milan aren't getting anything out of this. We're winning the Champions League. And it's done. We've won an all-time Champions League tournament with Barcelona. Look at that, boys. The boys celebrating. We're not done yet with the video. I want to do maybe like one more season. We won the Champions League, but we still got La Liga to win. And I guess we'll try and make some signings in season two to make that happen. Let's go. All right, we put the all-time Barca team, won the Champions League, did everything authentically. We're now going to have a bit of fun with signings and everything. Just trying to improve this 
steam as much as we can. And we do got 500 million to make that happen. First things first, I would love a left back. I'm thinking who would be like the most insane left back we could get? Let's look at the Prem. Patrice Evra wouldn't be a bad choice, but I don't think he likes Barcelona all too much, so we'll steer clear. Open your eyes, open, open your eyes. Oh, there's players like Dennis Irwin on the market too, but I'm not too sure about that. I think maybe we should just sign Paolo Maldini. Can we even do that? Is he in, in this mod? Wait, Maldini's not in this mod? Or am I just messing things up? Maldini, he is a center back. Okay, 93 rated. If we convert him to a left back, we'll be sorted. I think that's what I want to do. Yo, we're actually going to end up signing him. Good Lord. Maybe a swap deal would work smartly for us. Let's see who we can swap. Maybe this guy, because I've barely ended up using him. Let's do this. Let's put him in the deal. Maybe offer an additional 20 mil and just see if they're willing to accept it. They don't want him. They just want 278 million. Any other players they'd be interested in? What about this guy? Bern Schuster. And maybe another, like, what, 30 million? Let's offer that and see what they say. They don't want him either. Like, oh, come on. Okay, I'm giving them a left back and 100 million. That surely is a good offer. Surely that's a good offer. They're willing to trade with him. That's good. We'll try and reduce the fee for Maldini, who we will convert to a left back. Uh, and let's see what they say. 150. Okay, they need a bit of time to decide. Wow. Oh, by the way, I think I messed up his name. I called him Thiago Alcantara earlier on in the video. It's Paulinho Alcantara. Regardless, I think I'm going to sell him. Well, they do want more money for Maldini. Let's just get back to negotiating. Let's do 167, all right? Let's do 167. You know what? Forget it. 200 million. You can have him. Just give me Maldini now. We got an offer for Stoichkov. Sounds crazy, but I'm going to delegate and trying and selling him because I want to sign a striker. And it's going to be a bit crazy, so we need to probably generate a bit of fun so Stoichkov could be on his way out there you go Paolo Maldini has been signed absolutely insane he's in a Barca shirt can we convert him to a left back that's very important now 237 weeks no we messed up we can't make him a left back all that money don't think he's gonna be playing all that much ah oh, we messed up we're still gonna fit him in that starting 11 I guess oh we probably I don't even know let's put him in that left back spot and hopefully he starts a fair few games. Ah, that's a bummer. Oh no, um, we can't sign Stoichkov because we messed up the negotiations. We can't sell Stoichkov, actually. Oh, we need to generate a bit of funds, man. Yup, I sold a lot, of, a lot of players that I didn't really care about. And we're up to 600 million. Now I can make the signing I've been wanting to make. And that's... R9 Ronaldo. Oh, one thing. Where's Johan Cruyff? Yo, how have they not put Johan Cruyff at Barca? He's been put at Ajax. No wonder. While I was looking at this Barcelona all-time team, I felt like I was missing something. Cruyff was been, has been put at Ajax. By the way, the Ajax team is probably insane in this mod. But fair enough, Johan Cruyff was unbelievable for Ajax too. No wonder I felt like something was missing. We're not going to sign him though. Instead, I want to sign R9 Ronaldo. He played for Barca and had an incredible season. Let's snatch him away from Real Madrid and get back at them for this one. I'm going to not pay the release clause. We're going to negotiate and sign R9 Ronaldo from Real Madrid. Oh my days. Two... 40 million is going to be what my starting offer will be. They want Kupala. Get out of here. We're not giving you any of our legends. 269 million is going to be my next offer and that works. All right. Welcome R9 for the negotiations. Time to bring you back home. I'm pretty sure he like prefers Madrid over Barca, but whatever. We're going to sign him. Get him back to playing in that strike role. He's going to accept the crucial role. Five-year deal as well. And this is not the R9 with that ridiculous haircut, man. I would have loved that. No release clause as well. He's happy. Oh, the wages he wants. We'll give him the appearance bonus for once, guys. I'm going to let R9 have the, the appearance bonus. And it's working, guys. R9 Ronaldo, negotiations done. We've actually ended up signing him. Unreal. Gonna straight up put him in the team, boys. R9 Ronaldo up there. What a team. We're now gonna sim until the end of the season and see if we can win La Liga and maybe even the Champions League. Guys, guys, guys. We've just been put in the Europa League. Are you telling me with this all-time great squad? Wait, why is Barcelona B? I'm confused. What's happening here? Barcelona B are in in, the, in this mod and ha have, have, have they been put in La Liga? We, we've been sacked. We've been sacked with an all-time great Barca squad. Are you kidding me? Oh my dear. 
What the hell? Wow, this has actually happened here. We've been sacked by an all-time great Barca squad. We're gonna go to Celta, I guess, for the job, but I want to sim until the end of the season and just see what happened. Look at that, guys. Barcelona B are in career mode. I didn't even know that. End of the season and Barcelona finish fourth in La Liga and Real Madrid end up winning it. I don't get this. I really don't. Champions League as well, I'm pretty sure. Barca finished third in the group. Wow. Well, you all probably had Benzema. Maybe that's why, but madness. Pretty sure we can see the team stats of Barcelona this way in La Liga. Messi, their top scorer, but didn't do all that much. R9 with maybe nine goals, but yeah, it was pretty weird, I guess. But I guess this is where we're going to end off the episode. Well, this all-time great Barca team couldn't win La Liga. At least we won the Champions League. But this was so much fun. Really enjoyed recording this. If you guys enjoy watching this, drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.